I with Mashena. I wanted to make a video. Um, why? Because I really want to talk about my dad, Michael Jackson. Really, really need to talk about him. Um, in another video, I said that um, the Michael Jackson in the 90s was not my father. I did not recognize uh, this man. He was so different. He was so stranger. Hello. That it really uh, shocked me. I was so in shock about him in the 19. And that have really given me an, uh, a trauma. I have really, I have really go through a trauma um, about um, thinking about him the way that he was in the 90. I didn't recognize a thing. The thing that I recognized that I knew that he was my dad uh, was because of uh, the 80s. I could recognize him. And, but when the album Bad came out, it was such a devastating shock, the way that he looked, the way that he behaved. So the that part of, of my life uh, in the 90s was really he heavy for me. It was so, so devastating that there are no words that I can describe the way that he uh, made me feel uh, very uncomfortable. And um, it was the same times that I was in my boarding school where I had to go through a lot of abuse. Um, my caregivers, they were absolutely horrible, the worst in my state of, uh, um, how do you say it, in the, in the boarding school, they were really horrible, really selfish people um, who were arrogant, um, surrounding children who didn't have a good function uh, family and um, this boarding school I have also write them a letter when I'm finished with the government uh, I'm gonna give them day turns because they have really uh, treated me very very badly when I was extraordinarily uh, vulnerable in in my life and in, so in the 19, when my father, Michael Jackson, was a huge hit with his album, uh, Bad, I was suffer. I was suffering um, extremely. And, um, but I managed to survive it because I want to. I wanted to survive. That was really period in my life that I felt like I could become mental ill because of the pain and the suffering and you know uh, there was also the same time that my father Michael Jackson married Lisa Mary Presley and everyone thought that it was fake his marriage and that it wasn't real and I was looking at my father and he was so sad and he was so sad in his eyes he was so sad but I knew that his love for Lisa Mary Presley was real because um, I have seen uh, her picture um, surrounding my father when she was little, not realizing then, in that moment, that it was the same a woman. I found out it was the same woman um, years later. Um, but because he's my father, I could really recognize his sincerely from his love and that at the mtv moment that he kissed her horrible i i it really made me feel i really had to throw up from it i was absolutely disgusting and i really hated her i really hated lisa mary presley um and i hated my father michael jackson i hated him i hated him so so sincerely i hated him for the things that he was doing to me. I was like, how can you do this to me? Uh, your daughter has been kidnapped and you're acting like nothing is going on. 
uh, like you are happy. And I, I absolutely hated him. I hated him from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my soul. And I didn't feel any necessary to be with him. It was really the time in my life that I was really saying goodbye to my father. Um, you know, I was also a teenager. It was like, you know what? I don't want to know you anymore. I don't care who you are and uh, live your life. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to survive this. One day I'm going to meet you. Then I'm going to beat the crap out of you because you hurt me, you're a liar. So in that time, in the 90s, when the bad albums came out, I was so devastated about my father's behavior and the way that he looked. And um, there was nothing wonderful um, for me um, that I should say, oh, I'm so proud to be Michael Jackson's daughter. Oh, Michael Jackson's my father. You know, I felt so ashamed and so betrayed about that feeling. I want to talk a little bit more in my last book, uh, Trailer Resistance. That will be the last part of my uh, autobiography where I will go into a little bit more about the deep abusing that I faced when I was in boarding school. The abusing was um, horrible. One of the abusing is that body shaming. I have been body shamed so much um, in my boarding school. Uh, my hair uh, wasn't good. This is my natural hair. And I was always too fat. And, um, but don't forget, while these things was going on, um, everyone knew that my body, that I, I was three years older and not three years younger. And they body shamed me extraordinary and was very, very, very painful. And I don't appreciate any of them. So if they ever, if they ever going to see me on 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 uh, on YouTube, me, Mashana Patti Jackson, I have hate you all for what you did to my childhood. I hate you all. I don't appreciate you. Um, there was one guy I did love very much, Fons. He was my my angel, but the rest of them I hate them all. Um, why did I like Fons? Because he um, he allowed me to be me, and he was very sincere with with children, and he really cared about children. You always find um, you always find some good people um, in bad situation, and this guy was one one of them. Um, and everybody knew I was crazy about him. And uh, my first boarding school, they did their best, you know. After when I moved to uh, Oosterbeek, and that's where the heavy abuse was really, really starting. That you don't wish at any child, you don't want any child to, to go through that. You want... You want every child to be happy and develop well. So my first, my first uh, boarding school, you know, they really did their best. You know, they, um, there was, they really did their best. But my second boarding school, it was really absolutely hell, and I really didn't deserve that. And they did also nothing to finish uh, uh, to get legally. That my name would be changed and um, that my age will be changed they really didn't do they really didn't do anything they really didn't do anything to to help me out they just didn't they just didn't and these people they um, made the children suffer more it was a horrible organization and still today I cannot believe that um, they have put uh, me and other children through that and um, and I'm going I'm going to court one day with them to tell them about extremely abuse that I had to survive because of them so um, let me go back I'm going to walk this way back let me
Yeah, let me go this way. So, um, in the 90s, was absolutely hell. Absolutely hell. And um, I was very lucky in the 90s that I also met some um, wonderful people that really could put my mindset in a, in a, in a better uh, situation that um, really educate me uh, to to stay alive, to survive and be strong and, and, and fight it all. So, but um, if I look at Michael Jackson in the 90s, you know, when he has his children with Debbie Rowe, I hated him so much. Uh, I, he, I didn't recognize the man uh, from the 80s. To me, it was like he, he became someone else. And, um, and it was um, very difficult for me to recognize him as my father. But, uh, you know, I knew I didn't have to tell myself any stories that he wasn't my father because I knew he was my father. I knew that everything what, that was happening that was because he was my father. So the 90s were a year of um, extraordinary pain. A pain that I feel like I still haven't, um, I, I still haven't given the place because it was, it, 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 because it hurt so much. So when I see videos of my father with um, Prince and parents and Biggie, I cannot look at them. I really, I really hate the guy. You know, and I really hate the guy that, that I'm seeing that. And then in uh, 2003, when he did the Martin Bashir uh, interview, um, I could really, how do you say it? He was normal to me again because I there was communication, you know, there was, um, there was a story between him and me again so this is why it was better for me to deal with him but in the 19th um there was no nothing better to in the 90s i wrote um howard wiseman who have dearly passed away too young because he was a very intelligent smartest uh, attorney in the world i'm very grateful that i had an opportunity to talk to howard wiseman I had hoped that he would be alive to um, to witness the truth that I am Michael Jackson's uh, daughter. Um, I have contacted him before in the past, and that was in the 19s. And I think that he have given it to my father, Michael Jackson, to his people, and that my father, Michael Jackson, never received it, what I have sent. He, uh, wait, saying something wrong. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that's true. Because later on, that Michael Jackson really know that I was his daughter because Sony Music, uh, they give him uh, the fake passport of me to Michael Jackson. That was in a, that was in two thousand. Well, sorry, I'm crying. I mean, In 2000, I gave my um, Haitian passport uh, that was fake with my with my identity. Let me go sit down for a moment because I'm a bit upset. In in 2000, I gave my fake Haitian passport. Um, I sent it to Sony Music and they give it to my father, Michael Jackson. And that's when, uh, when Michael Jackson received it, um, he um, recognized me um, as a baby. And um, this is when he recognized me. 
and this is when um, our communication um, started to to work um, this is when um, Sony Music was busy for one year to get me into America um, so that my father Michael Jackson could see me himself from distance first and um, so that passport um, made him realize that um, it was me and so for one year uh, for one year um, Sony Music did everything uh, to pursue me that I will come to New York um, they give me free uh, tickets for Madison Avenue um, performance of my father Michael Jackson and they say you know this is a very special moment 30 years of the career of your father and you keep saying all these years that you are his daughter so you have to go you have to come to New York so you can meet your father and uh, and um, they arranged the tickets, they arranged tickets. I said, oh, if you want me to go, why don't you arrange the, the plane tickets? So why should I, no, no, they couldn't do that. But um, I, f I fly to New York. Um, many strange things happen in between. So um, when I arrived at the airport, I already knew that um, people of my father's team were watching, they were all, cameras, making photos of me, um, people asking me questions, how I, how I was going to go to the hotel, all those kind of things. And um, so this Haitian passport uh, was the real proof um, for my father that I was alive. Um, in the 90s, I don't, I don't remember the name anymore, but I spoke to the president of uh, MJJ uh, Production. Uh, he passed away of cancer, uh, I believe, eight years ago. Very, very, very nice guy. And the conversation that we had, um, he was so lovely. He was so sweet. And um, he knew I was the real Machena. Um, but I don't think my father, Michael Jackson, believed it when it it was told uh, by him. And uh, it was before I became pregnant. Uh, so it must be 1997, 70, 1997, 79, 1979. And um, so a couple of years ago, Saudi just uh, showed my father, Michael Jackson, the proof. Then I came to New York and the rest was history. And Michael Jackson was back in my life, making my life an absolutely hell um, that I needed to go to a psychiatrist because it was hard for me. Um, I really, um, I've made myself a promise, me. Uh, today I was on YouTube and I was just going around and I was watching some videos. I love, um, I love, I really love Chinese drama, Korean drama. And what's so great on YouTube is you get the new information about which movies are coming out. Um, I am, I have my abonomi, aboni, and I really, really love Chinese production, Korean, but I'm really, really crazy about them. And then, I don't know, because if my name is Jackson, I don't know. I. I just saw some, some videos of my father with Prince, Paris and Biggie. And I was really thinking, you know what? I don't want to look, look at them anymore because I really hate that Michael Jackson of the 90s. Uh, I, I hate, uh, I hate, I hate uh, the Michael Jackson in, in uh, Remember the Time. Uh, this whole session of Michael Jackson, I just, I just hate him. Um, the one thing that was very uh, clear to me that my father was in deep pain was with a dangerous album. He, he, with a dangerous album, my father went totally into religion. And I knew my father so well in the 80s that if he was very upset, he went deep into his religion. So, um, so in the bad album, he didn't show me any emotions of who he was.
but when um, Dangerous came out, he went totally into um, religion. And that's when I realized that my kidnapping, um, his secret, uh, having a secret daughter, indeed affect him. So um, in a dangerous time, I still hate him. I still didn't like him, but he did show me some emotions because there was no moment in my life that I felt like I was crazy, that it wasn't true, that he was my dad, no. It was very clear to me always that he was my dad. And I knew that my father, because of he burned his head, that he needed some operation, but he went too far. He went so drastic that it really made me upset, made me really upset. And you know what also was horrible? All these people complaining about the way Michael Jackson looked and how horrible he looked. It was very painful for me because um, in that point, I really didn't even care about how my father was looking like. I, I wanted... I wanted people to rem remember my father for his soul. So I have read a lot of books then, mental health books I've been reading about people um, hurting themselves. And I believe this was one way that my father was really hurting himself. He couldn't sell the story to me. He he couldn't sell that story to me that because his head was burned, he needed this kind of operation uh, so that his face didn't look strange. He couldn't sell that story anymore to me. But um, I knew that he was really mentally suffering. This is why this was one of the ways that he was beating up himself, you know. And, um, and people worldwide were making fun of him. And that really affected me really affect me and um, it even affect me to a point that um, that I was thinking yeah my dad doesn't even want to look at face and find recognition in, in my face or I don't remember anything that he looked like so so in my in my opinion he did not need to change his face after thriller he did enough you know so I, I really wanted him to stop you know and I want to go into deeper about what the way it have affected me, the way that my father looked. Um, it really have affected me, uh, but in the same time, it have really educated me to be happy with my face, to be happy with my with my body. And um, so, when I went to boarding school, and people were really body shaming me because of my hair. And because uh, I'm a black woman and I, I, I have, uh, you know, my feet, everyone was always asking me, why is this black and why it is not? I said, because I'm black. The most stupid questions I've been asked since the moment I came to the Netherlands. Um, we have here the stupid Santa Claus that's in child, uh, where, you know, around December, <laughs> around Santa Claus time with Shanna was very aggressive. Everybody knew that, just leave me alone. Celebrate your party, just leave me alone. Because in Haiti, Haiti, I really have see beautiful, beautiful black people. And I love really beautiful black people. Oh my God, I've been so in love, you know. And uh, so it was very hard for me to deal with this coming to Netherlands. So, in the time that I was body, being body shamed in my boarding school um, because I was black, uh, I didn't really, it, it hit me, it hurt me, but it didn't make me uh, want to change myself because uh, I was dealing with my father, Michael Jackson, uh, be, from becoming uh, dark, becoming white and not looking, you know. I have the same nose as my father, the original nose. <laughs> my original nose and people were like no you're not michael jackson yeah okay 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 uh look if if, if you look at the, the michael jackson in the in the 80s um 
um, in the 80s and in the 90s and, and 2000 when he died. No, I don't look like any Michael Jackson. But if you go back to original photos where Michael Jackson was really black and, you know, and some people said, yeah, it's, it's a black nose you have. No, I have the same nose as my father. The same nose. <laughs> And I'm proud with it, and I love my nose. And I don't know what the Jackson family have against their nose, why they all changed their beautiful nose. Uh, I'm happy. And, and and the boys from 3T, they, they just dis destroyed the beautiful nose. So I don't want to, I don't get it anyway. I love my nose. So when people said to me, no, you are not Michael Jackson daughter because she don't look like him. I said, yeah, you're right. I don't look like him, but you know what? He's my dad. He's really my dad. And, um, and, the way that he changed his face really made me comfortable about my, my body. And that's what I really wanted to say. I'm going to end this uh, conversation now. And um, I have decided I'm not going to watch any more videos of my father um, in, in the in the 19, you know. The, the Oprah Winfrey um, interview was horf horrified, really horrible. And... Uh, and she was despicable and that totally despicable <laughs> so i want to say it was michelle apathy jackson thank you for looking at my youtube youtube channel i see you next time i really want to talk about oprah Winfrey. i really, <laughs> really do <laughs> i'm not going to be nicer no of, about her <laughs> really 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 want to talk about oprah Winfrey. <laughs> So anyway, see you next time. And thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. I hope my life story helped you um, to be stronger, educate yourself, to love yourself, um, survive things. You know, life is too short to give up. Uh, keep your straight and um, listen to others. It's the power of success and the power of uh, your mental health and your mental being. And um, I survived my life because I listen. I survived my life because um, I want to learn. Learning things is uh, education is a uh, number one key of success, self-success in every way. Thank you for being a part of my journey. It was Moshe Patia Jackson. See you next time. Stay safe and bye-bye.